So we're standing here at Mile Elementary School, and uh, Dr. Mullins and I are, are very pleased to announce uh, the uh, Chase, uh, our canine bloodhound here. He's uh, with Deputy Kerry Pine, who's our school resource deputy here at Mile. But uh, Chase has a, a very unique story, and thanks to the principal here, Dr. O'Brien, and the team that, that welcomed him in, we're able to share that with you today. And that story is, uh, Chase was actually, uh, in his uh, previous time, he was the victim of crime. And uh, thanks to a great rescue, Sophie Circle, that, that uh, rescued him and uh, nurtured him back to where you see him now, and then uh, reached out for our agency. We were able to bring Chase into our comfort dog program through our Paws and Strikes College, and uh, he now has a forever home, not only with Kerry, but also here at Mila as he uh, works with the kids to help them um, during stressful times, uh, during critical times, uh, not just here, but also throughout um, Brevard County and all of our schools. And Dr. Mullins, uh, thank you, sir. You have been uh, just been over backwards, uh, you and Dr. O'Brien, to make this happen. And so I know you love the program as much as I do. Yeah, I, I, really thanks goes uh, from Brevard Public Schools to the sheriff for, you know, thinking of an, another way that we can extend the partnership between the sheriff's office and our schools and really to serve our kids and our community. Uh, just seeing the way that Chase is able to provide that comfort, that confidence to our kids, even to get up and read in front of a class of, of peers as well as a half a room of strangers. Um, and then also to be there in comfort, times of comfort, when our kids face real life circumstances and tragedies uh, in, across our schools. So thank you for thinking of Brevard Public Schools and how we can elevate this opportunity to serve our kids and serve our community. So just love how we continue to look for new, new partnerships. And just a huge shout out to Sophie Circle and, and the, the rescue to, to intervene and uh, to save Chase's life and then give him the opportunity to pay forward then in the lives of our kids. So thank you and uh, super shout out to Mila Elementary School, Corporal Pine, uh, just creating a, a, the opportunity here at Mila and, and really extending the family. So it's felt, like a, it's felt like a family reunion the whole time we've been here. So We had a chance this morning to uh, uh, hear from some of the students how they felt about Chase. They actually came up and read to us um, their feelings and shared their emotions with us. I think probably the most compelling part of this is not just that Chase will go on in his life to forever impact kids and, and impact our community as a whole, but to go full circle from where he was from being the victim to now help other children that not only may become victims, and hopefully they never do, but if they do, Chase is here for them, but to help them through stressful situations, to help them just put a smile on their face, to go full circle like that is, uh, I think, the greatest statement that Chase will ever make. So we are, we are proud to be a part of it, and thank you guys.